Good morning, Bangkok. Day uh, three in Bangkok. So plans for today, we just left the hotel. We're gonna go to a local market called the Orkator Market. To get there, we're gonna take the underground system, not the sky train. So we'll get a try out the underground today. And like every day, I'll just give you a quick spin around here. You can see how busy uh, Bangkok is, the roads are in Bangkok. So again, using public sky train and underground is just way better, way better option. Yeah, so we're going to Orkato Market, have a tour around there, and then we'll have the evening free and we'll decide what we're going to do later on. Maybe a massage because there'll be a lot of walking today. So it might be nice to finish the day with a relaxing massage, so. And that's another reason why we prefer the uh, underground. And the sky train is the local buses are, yeah, they're a bit rough. And the air conditioning is the windows down, so. You know, where we're going, it's air conditioned. The sky train on the underground is air conditioned, so way more comfortable to travel that way. So here we are uh, in the underground station and we bought a ticket but you don't actually get a ticket you get these black tokens, tokens that you scan as you go through you keep them with you and then you give it to the guy at the other end or scan it to get out the other end and so it's a novel way so we're just waiting for the train to come and this is the station not very busy it seems to be way less crowded than the sky train and uh, here's the map of where we're headed to. We're headed to Kham Phang Phet, which is uh, 10 stops away. So here we are on, on board the train. It only took uh, a couple of minutes waiting. Uh, not busy at all. Here's a look down the carriage or a car or whatever you want to call it. And uh, no idea how long we're on here for, but so it's air conditioned and way less busy than uh, the Sky Train. Oh, this is, this is good. So we, we have arrived. That was the subway is way better. The MRT is way better than the BTS Sky Train. It was so uncrowded, fast, air conditioned, clean. It's a great way to travel. And we've just arrived at the Orkator Market. We're still just coming out of the uh, MRT station, but if you look, if I come around, you can see there's the market. We literally come out of the stairs, top of the stairs, and the market is right here. So off we go to explore. So this is a little stall where there's, they're making kind of a little uh, dim sum. They're making these little uh, rolls, dim sum rolls, and they're stuffing them, making them into a little ball. And then they're going in the steamer pot ready for steaming. And on the back there's some cooking. And this is the finished product. I think these ones are spinach. And then, not sure, obviously there's going to be pork and something else, but I think I'm going to try some of the uh, spinach ones here. That seems to be a safe bet. So these are the dumplings I just bought. Like a little dim sum. So we'll give it a, a try. We, they gave us spice to put on it, but I'm not going to go for the spice just yet. So they look good, don't they? So let's try one. Look like jelly. If I spit it out, <laughs> it'll run. It's spinach and garlic and onion inside a, a soft, like dim sum, uh, not pastry, but a wrap, a very soft and jellified wrap. Tastes great. 
So that's the first uh, street food down, the spinach dumplings with garlic. Absolutely delicious. Just trying to figure out what else to eat next. There's so much choice in here. Have some fish or shall I get some... I don't know what to eat. Look in here, look at these stews bubbling away. They all look good. I just want to eat everything right now. Ron has found something that she wants. No. What is it? I don't know what it is. But this is crab, stuffed crab. Oh, there's fried stuffed crab there. It's looking good. Dried fish. Tiny minnow fish. It smells delicious. More dried fish. The pork. The barbecue pork looks crazy good. Asparagus, the bacon, the crispy pork. Oh, this is Glenn's kind of stall, eh? And then there's all the fun pork stuff. Okay. And then the entrails and stuff over here. But Glenn needs uh, some of the crispy pork. Because I can't resist it, so I think I'm going to have uh, yeah, some of that crispy pork right there. Okay, so here's uh, dish number two from the market. There's a crispy pork that I just bought. Looks really tasty. It's got a crisp on the outside of that. That looks awesome. And here goes, I'll tell you whether it is awesome. Out of this world, awesome. What a flavor. The crunchiness and flavor of that pork skin is mind blowing. I love pork, I love crunchy pork. Wow, this is crazy good. I wonder if Rhonda will try something. The market. The market goes on and on and on. Fresh fruit, fresh food, handmade baskets. There's more of the tiny ones. Baby pineapples, they look nice. Imagine how sweet they would be. There's a thong dee, whatever a thong dee is. Some more small pineapples. No, it's durian. Durian fruit oh, okay. everywhere. And you can smell it. Durian is a very strong smelling fruit. And you can see it everywhere. And you can smell it even when you can't see it. She's feeling them right now. She's feeling pineapples. Oh no, durians, not pineapples. Yeah, she's getting the uh, seed pod out of the durian fruit. Pretty expert the way she does it. Got a bag of salted fish to snack on. Always crab and shrimp. Good crab meat here. Fresh crab meat. That looks super good. This may be another Glen stop. Maybe a Glen stop. Where's Rhonda gone? Okay, so I'm going to buy one of these. Uh, pork, something wrapped in a uh, vine leaf. Yeah, another food stall trying. We're trying these uh, these dishes here, which I've already tried. I'm going to buy one of these uh, huge cone things, I think, and dip it in a coconut curry sauce. So we're going to buy one, and Rhonda likes it as well. Yeah, right. So we'll eat it.
Do that again. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> So we didn't order the giant cone, what we have ordered is these uh, rotis that he's now cooking on this grill for us. And we're going to uh, dip them in the uh, coconut curry, coconut milk curry sauce. So we ordered one, it looks like we're getting more than one. But whatever they are, it's hard to describe the flavour, it's beautiful. There we have it. Excellent. And Ron and I are going to share it. Mm -hmm. That's not else. Oh, the so I found a stall with the longest lineup in the whole market which means it's good, which means I've got to try it. And I'm in a line and I don't know if you can see the glass case. It's duck, they're selling duck. So I'm gonna line up and try some of the duck. I'm not sure how long it'll take to get there. Yeah, they're chopping up the duck. It doesn't look like roast duck, it looks like uh, boiled. Well, whatever it is, it's very popular because the lineup is crazy. So now we're actually closer and up to the case. It's actually chicken, it's not duck. I thought it was duck. That kind of looks like duck hung up, but it's all the same and you can tell now it's chicken, so the front of the counter they got all these awards, so that's why there's uh, people lined up for it. But here we are at the front, there's mine, you got some uh, sauce on it, some cilantro, cucumber. Next meal. So we'll do the unwrapping of this little parcel. It's like Christmas. <laughs> and we have no idea really what's in it. Because he didn't speak English, so we're kind of guessing. The leaves everywhere. It's a pork, pork sticky rice. There's like chickpeas in there and pork and spice. No sweetness. Very savory. And peanuts. So I thought the pork was mixed in with the rice, but now I've just broken into the middle of it and you can see where the pork is. That's pork.
support sausage. Sweet and spicy in the middle. It's very good. So we are trying to get back to the hotel and the skies have opened. It's rainy season in Bangkok and can you tell? Look at this. We're sheltering underneath the steps of the BTS SkyTrain right now, in. but look at this. Look at this. It's torrential rain. Like everyone is like sheltering. It's so wet. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a run up the stairs. We're gonna do a run up the stairs and hopefully get to the other side and then shelter again. But that's Bangkok rain for you. So we're walking up the stairs of the the sky bridge. Wow, it's wet. It's friggin' wet. It's so wet. Oh, we're underneath now. Yeah, a little bit of, get a little bit of dry. We get a little bit of dry, but now we're gonna be in the wet again. I think I call it more than wet. Yeah, this is torrential rain. Look this at the trees. is freaking so Look at wet. The Here we go. Down the ramp. Oh. <laughs> Actually, the rain is uh, it's quite refreshing, to be honest, because it's, it's been 32 degrees every day, and now it's like pouring with rain, and it's actually quite, look at my hair now, that's so, I look like I've just had a shower. Lexus, Lexus, Bangkok. But, hey, this is Bangkok. Rhonda is uh, Rhonda struggling to keep up. She's in heaven. <laughs> so we're going to, uh, once we get past Lexus, there's going to be some canopies we can actually, oh, I can't even see because there's so much rain running down my eyes right now. It is a bit of It's crazy. Canopy. Okay. So we found a little bit of shelter for a minute because it's so freaking wet. Oh, Rhonda, how are you? Are you I absolutely love the rain I and it's amazing, shower. but holy cow! Oh, this Within is rain. Minute, it was just like Ooh. downpour. You bet Look you. At the trees. Yeah, the winds are up and oh, the trees are calm now. Umbrellas are up really and everything's up. We don't have an umbrella because we left this afternoon and we did not expect the rain. But hey, it's Bangkok. Boy, boy, right? So we're still trying to get back to the hotel, but you can see the rain, like, holy crap. It's like literally coming down sideways. The road's flooded. The rain is so bad. But what do you do? You just gotta keep walking. We're gonna get back to the hotel, so here we go. Still walking back to the hotel, we are. Honestly, our clothes are so wet, I feel like I'm a hundred pounds heavier. I think Rhonda's behind me, hopefully she is. Yep. Are you there, Rhonda? Absolutely so. Right? Yep. There's palm tree, branches what? on the ground. Man, this is a one hell of a storm, and trust us to get caught in it. It's so fast, like no one knew it was coming. It's very cool though, like the, the temperature's really cooled down because of this deluge of rain but we don't particularly want to be so soaked but hey this is bangkok here we are we're at the hotel now <laughs> 